So our goal is to continue with kind of learning about this thing. And as we kind of go through that, we look at body measurement types. Now, in the past, what we've looked at in, in terms of this, we, we, we assess the body in a bunch of different ways. Historically, we've been able to do a weight, underwater weight assessments. Remember, Mario, we used to have mm -hmm. like a tank and put someone in water, have them float, actual measure the oxygen consumption. Those were the um, the old methods. The 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 true standard way of doing uh, our fat analysis, pretty expensive sometimes. We use a DEXA test. The DEXA is the similar test that is used for bone density. We can actually do that. We also have, a, historically, the body pod test. Now, I know that you have noticed uh, diff different types of tests, and, and we're going to put up yeah. here, what are the, the tests that you've seen? The other, Alex, on, on that one, when you're talking about the underwater um, weighing and DEXA and even the, the uh, body, body pod, pod, mm -hmm. body pod uh, those are, are, again, more research-based, more scientific Exactly. in that. So when you're looking at that, uh, I look at it from my perspective – um, you know, what's functional? What, exactly. what can everyone do? So exactly. skin, skin fold is easy, yes. you know, skin <laughs> fold and, and, uh, and the, uh, um, the BIA, BIA and the, uh, Tinnita scale. Scales. Yeah. I mean, that one electrical impulse is going through and you're looking at resistance and impedance. Those are simple. You can just buy from Walmart or anywhere and, and step on it. Make sure you don't, you don't eat. Uh, and uh, make sure you don't uh, drink before you do your test. So do, do it early morning, let's say 6, 7 o'clock right. on an empty stomach, so you can get some good readings with, uh, with the scan. And also, uh, you know, skin folds easy. And, and again, with the BMI, you're looking at weight divided by twice your height, your height squared. Exactly. So that's that's kind of like simplistic view in terms mm -hmm. of BMI. Anyone can do it. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. So those are those are right now. Those are the standards. Those are the things. Most of the times when you go to uh, to your trainer, most of the time when you go work out in your CrossFit gym or your your uh, you know what I call functional gym. Now people are going into more a functional aspect of uh, of fitness. So so they they incorporate less wear and tear and, and trauma. Now they're looking at skin fold and uh, in-body. They even have the, the new in-body systems that, uh, that are very popular that give you a nice ratio even of, of your hydration, which is really nice. You know, when you actually say that, when we look at this thing like the, the Tanita, um, uh, this scales, like you said, they, you can get them at home. The BIA is where it's at. What we're finding is, is that a lot of the studies are reflecting that the BIA actually shows White correlation with accuracy with these more complex underwater weighing as well as the DEXA test. So these standards, research-based, you'd always want to maintain some sort of research-based, uh, at least collaborative information that makes sense, right?